On this episode of HKB, we're going to take a little look at the Panorama Hong Kong Classics release of 1983's Hocus Pocus. Focus Focus, 1983, Lao Ching Ying. What do you think of this one? Um, I found it a little bit confusing to be honest. I did like it, I obviously really like um, Lao Ching Ying in this sort of film anyway. But yeah, I don't know, what did you think? Did you find it a bit confusing as well? Yeah, I was really excited to get this one because we're big, big fans of the Mr. Vampire series. You know, and other films with Lao Ching Ying like Magic Cop so on and so forth. He's a fantastic, he was a fantastic actor, great performer, and all the sort of ghost movies and the Jiang Shi movies, we love them a lot, don't we? Yeah. So yeah, it was really good to get this one, but again, I feel like there was a lot of filler in the plot, you know, and if yeah. you watch the trailer for this, guys, you'll think, God, that looks really serious and intense. But if you actually watch the film, there's a lot of like um, hokey comedy filler with pranks being played, yeah, you know. Yeah, that was quite funny, yeah. wasn't it? They were funny. Yeah. They, they were trying to scare, like, one of the actors in this Peking Opera troupe and uh, try and terrify him, you know, and there was, like, uh, a lot of consequences to that. And uh, the humour is quite good, but it's not as good as some other films, perhaps, mm. fair to say. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, in the way of familiar faces, besides Lam Ching Ying, you've got um, Stephen Tung Wei, who you may remember from Let Me Think. Don't concentrate on a finger or you'll miss all that heavenly glory. So yeah, the, um, the young lad that Bruce teaches in Enter the Dragon, he has one of the main roles in this. And of course all you guys out there will be very familiar with his work as um action choreographer. And it's good to see him on screen, isn't it? You know, it was you know, he had a few fight scenes in this, nothing major but entertaining. Yeah, yeah definitely. And uh, Curry pops up in this, you know, he pops up everywhere and he's, he's, he's good fun in it. And we have uh, Peter Chan, who, you know, like a lot, familiar face like, I always liked him in um, Bong Sai Up, you know, Jet Li, which is great in that, but he, he turns up a lot of place. So, you know, you've got the sort of comfort cast of your typical Hong Kong movies of that sort of era, yeah? So, uh, anything more you'd like to add or would you like, just like to score this one? Yeah, I think, like you say, it was there was some fun parts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Perhaps we should talk about the ending scene because that was the, yeah. the opening and the ending scenes. Yeah, I, I like the um, the opening to this film. It's great. You have got like a, a peaking opera sort yeah. of sequence. That was fantastic, wasn't it? And mm. the way it was played out, and the staging and everything. Yeah, it looked really lush, and we thought, wow, we're in for a real treat. Mm. And then it kind of slowed down. Yeah, I think the trouble was we weren't clear. It seemed to be that was back in the past and then it seemed to jump forward, but we weren't completely sure if that's what was happening. I think that was the main sort of reason we weren't too sure about this one. Yes, it did confuse us a little mm. bit. So maybe partly the, the problem is our fault. Oh, yeah. Or maybe it's a bad translation, not sure. But when it gets to the end scene, folks, and you've got um, a proper setup against a proper ghost, that you get in all your magic and your spells mm. and your tricks and that stuff's good. And yeah. the cool effects. Yeah, we like those practical <laughs> effects, as you probably well know by now. Um, I'm going to score this one a 6 out of 10. So it's not high recommend, but it was fun. Yeah, I, I agree. 6 out of 10. Right, there we go then. And for the disc itself, do you want to show the folks what we're doing yeah. in this package? So there's a nice slip case. Love these slipcases with these panorama releases. And we were lucky enough to get one with a postcard. Mm -hmm. Love those little bits and pieces. And then you have the and a nice interior yeah. image, which you know it's a little bit polish. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Again, very basics on the disc. Um, the the picture, the sound quality. The subtitling, I'd say they're adequate, you know? Yeah. This is likely a film that will 
probably never going to see over on UK release. So, you know, it does the job if you're interested. You know, we're going to rate this disc three stars. If you're interested in this title, we will be including a purchase link in the description below. We do hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, then please give us a like. And if you haven't yet, perhaps subscribe to our channel. So, that's all for this episode. We look forward to seeing you guys next time. And remember folks, be true and buy the blue.